Um, how long have you played as Prom at Jacket now? The three of you? We played um, as Prom at Jacket, we played since April 2005, so it's almost two years. But we've been playing together since 2001. Okay. I read uh, you met uh, at a university in Sheffield, yeah. the three of you. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, uh, first, what did you study? I was doing teaching, Jono was doing history and Dan was doing an art degree. Okay. Mm -hmm. You all got a degree? Yeah. yeah, we all worked. Okay. I worked the least hardest. <laughs> so you, you were a teacher? Yeah. yeah. You like it? Yeah, I like it. I'd probably be doing that now if I wasn't doing the band, so I think it's a good job. I think a lot of teachers moan about their job, but I think it's pretty good. I enjoyed it. There was days where I didn't enjoy it, but it's the same as any job, but you know, I've done jobs that are much worse than, than teaching. Do you, do you miss it sometimes? Um, I think sometimes I think about it. I think I miss the relationship with the students, because um, I think I, I really... I, enjoy, I enjoyed working with them and I enjoyed the, uh, the rewards when you help particularly rough kids, you know, get through stuff and to achieve things. So I, I miss that side of the job because I don't really get to, uh, to help people as much probably as I was when I was working in that job. Um, but yeah, then there's things that I don't miss about it as well. So yeah. I, li I, like being, uh, I like being my own boss, so I, li I like not having to... To, to, make, to be able to make the decisions rather than being told what to do. Yeah. Isn't it uh, like what you're doing now? You're, um, you're also standing in front of kids? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shouting at them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very similar. I think that... Um, I think it helps, actually. I think... I always kind of done um, little bits of acting at school and I've always performed and I've always... Uh, been singing in bands, you know, and stuff like that. So it's never really been a problem for me, and I think that's why I was quite good at teaching as well, because I was used to doing that. So yeah, it's really similar, really similar thing. But um, is it now like you're standing in front of uh, kids now? Don't you have the urge to, um, I don't know, uh, give a good example or something? Give a good example. <laughs> Stop yeah. swearing. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. I think I think we try and um, I think we do try and uh, set set the right example. Um, I mean, I suppose we probably swear. I probably swear too much, but I don't think swearing to me isn't a big deal anyway. But um, but yeah, I mean, I think just in the way that you know we we conduct ourselves, you know, as a band, we don't you know go off trying to make out with loads of groupies or you know take loads of drugs or. You know, we're, we're not in any sort of mess, you know, we're, we're in control and we're being sensible and, you know, and we're trying to, trying to release records in what we think is, is the best way of doing it. So I think kind of the examples that we're setting are more based on, you know, our attitude about how we conduct ourselves rather than uh, so much about the live shows, if you get what I mean. But um, I think we're just doing what... what what, what we've seen our favourite bands do, you know, when we play live and, you know, I think there's a, there's a set, I think there's a line between, you know, setting a good example and, and providing liberation, you know, and I think that a lot of the bands that, that I really got into were bands that were, um, were liberating because they were pushing against things that, that were the norm and that were, you know, that were standard and that were based on rules and following patterns of what you have to do with your life and so I think you know that's why we do what, what we do. Can you name a, uh, some of those uh, liberating bands? I think watching, uh, watching the Sex Pistols you know is quite, it's quite amazing what they did and also The Clash, I think Nirvana, um, Rage Against the Machine, I think these were all bands that were you know going for for, for a particular reason, um, and that, that's kind of you know that's that's kind of what we try and do. I don't think we've got a particular machine that we're raging against, other than perhaps the uh, the the, uh, the corporate music industry and major record labels. 
Um, but yeah, maybe not so much as maybe not as political as some of those other bands, but you know, e equally as, as driven and, and fired, you know.